Hi, I'm Sean Raymond. I'm an astronomer working on planets. I'm here in Bordeaux, France, and I'd like to tell you a poem today and recite a poem that I wrote about a new study that Juna Kohlmeyer and I just completed and was just published. If you're interested in the lyrics, I'll put them in the description uh, down below. Hope you enjoy it. Can moons orbit moons? Can moons orbit moons, wondered Juna and I. So planets have moons, you know, up in the sky, but none of those moons has its own moon around it. When Juna's son learned this, he just was astounded. We wanted to figure it out, solve the mystery. Where did those moons and moons go? What's their history? And one thing that gave us another dimension, the exomoon candidate got our attention. When Tichi and Kippen found evidence for it, those submoons called up and we couldn't ignore it. Submoons are moon moons. Now what's in a name? A name tends to stick, so it shouldn't be lame. What should we call them? There's oodles of choices. And plus, thanks to Twitter, there's millions of voices. There's lots of opinions. There's moon moons, mooncitos. There's moonlets and lunettes and planet burritos. It's only a name. There's no science or glory. I'm sticking with submoons. Now back to our story. Around every planet, there's sort of a zone in which a moon's stable if left all alone. It orbits in peace around the planet in charge. And up, it, up in its sky, well, that planet looms large. Around every moon, there's a similar space. A submoon in there should just orbit in place. Where things can get messy and fall off the table, it's tides, it turns out, that can make things unstable. The planet's large gravity tugs on the moon and stretches it out like a poodle balloon. When stretched out, its gravity changes a nick. The submoon can feel this and gets a small kick. The kicks push the submoon first to and then fro. The, its orbit can either get smaller or grow. The submoon can crash down upon the moon's lawn, or else can be pushed out until it's just gone. The very best spot for a submoon to thrive is around a big moon, and to help it survive, the moon also needs to be far from its planet, and that applies whether it's icy or granite. There's three or four moons in our system that work, around which a nice stable submoon could lurk. There's our moon, Callisto, and also Iapetus, a weird moon of Saturn. Now let, let, let's check my abacus. If submoons are stable, then where could they be? Those moons don't have submoons, no, none of the three. For Earth's moon, we think that at the, time, at the time of its birth, its orbit was much, much, much closer to Earth. So even though submoons are stable there now, they never could form, they just didn't know how. Callisto is one of the moons Galilean. There's four around Jupiter with room to play in. The gravity kicks from the moons all add up. The safe zone, safe zone for submoons just shrivels right up. Iapetus is kind of weird, just a smidge. Along its equator, it's got this long ridge. We think that a submoon did form up around. The ridge was produced when the submoon crashed down. The exomoon candidate's really quite big, with plenty of space for a sweet submoon rig. The bad thing is submoons are real hard to find, and two exosubmoons were totally blind. Moons might be friendly to life up in space, so what about submoons? Are they a good place? To have a big submoon that might have tectonics, and don't forget water, and yes, gin and tonics. The host moon must be pretty big and quite far. It also should orbit a pretty big star. For big stars, the hab zone is farther away, and planets out there give moons more space to plant. Tides are much weaker, so submoons can thrive. Even a submoon like Earth might survive. Let's not hold back. Let's see this thing through. Sub-submoons, could they exist out there too? The answer is yes, but they'd have to be wimpy because tides get so strong that the stable zone's shrimpy. And now a last thought. Tell me, what should humanity do just in case we succumb to insanity? Where can we stash all the best things we've done? Inventions, discoveries, art by the ton? A human-made submoon that orbits the moon could hold all that stuff in a giant cocoon. For billions of years, it could tell our last fable although we should make sure its orbit is stable. And now we are done, so I'll head off to bed with visions of submoons afloat in my head. And that's the end. Like I said, if you, uh, I hope you enjoy it. And the lyrics are on my blog, and I'll put the link in the description. All right, hope you enjoy it.